In this video, we will take a look at how you can slope a driveway. And this work will work for a variety of different sidewalks, you name it, patios. Not too complicated, but we're going to start here with a level surface. This is perfectly flat. And then we are going to slope our driveway. Now this driveway is sloping one inch per foot. And this is just to make everything as simple as I possibly can for explaining everything. So a 40 foot long driveway is going to be 40 inches. So if this, this right here is a level line, perfectly flat, we would come up 40 inches on this side, or we would start from the top and come down 40 inches to this point here. So that's about as simple as it can get. Whatever the length is, you're just simply going to divide it by this number here and I'll show you how to do that on a calculator. I know sometimes we divide numbers and they are backwards and once you see it, um, I don't care what words I use to describe it, you'll be able to figure it out and see exactly what we're doing. Now if we were to have a 40 foot long driveway and come down 20 inches, this would be a half inch per foot slope. 40 feet, 40 individual one foot increments. For every distance we go horizontally, horizontally level one foot, we're going to go down one half of an inch from this point here. So if I was to come over here five feet and then get a level and come down, this would be two and a half inches for a half inch per foot. Half inch uh, times five, is going to be 2.5 inches. So I hope this is starting to make sense. Now what if you have two points that you are going to be connecting and you want it to have a straight surface. You have a garage floor slab up here and a sidewalk with a street down here. You need to connect from point A to point B. This isn't going to be too difficult to do. So the slope is predetermined. You're not going to have much choice with this one here, but you still want to know how to figure out the slope. What exactly is the slope going to be? So let's go ahead and remove our driveway just to give you an idea of how we might form this up. We're going to come from the edge here and run a straight board from this point to this point. And to do that we can use a string and I'll put a video link to the string video that uh, I made right here at the top of the video. So you would just simply drive a stake into the ground probably at each edge. Um, and I don't want to get into complicated. I mean if you're forming it up you can actually just use the string and drive it in here. Drive a nail in here, put one end here, and then drive a nail in here, and then tighten the string up and then it'd give you an idea where you need to place these boards here to get everything nice and straight. So in order to figure out the slope, and this isn't that complicated, we need to create a straight line. And here we have imaginary lines. We know this is the top line because of our form. We had our form down here, and then we um, just connecting from the point of the sidewalk down here to the point in the driveway or the garage slab up here or the top of the garage floor. So we create a straight line. In order to do that, we're going to use a board, 2x4, 2x6, a straight board, some stakes, and then a level. We need to get it um, level here. So this surface is level. Now the biggest mistake you're going to make, I've made it before, is measuring from the top when you need to measure from the bottom. Remember, we're coming from the top of this surface. I can't tell you how many times I've hooked the top of this and measured down and miscalculated my slope. So in order to figure the slope out here, we have our straight board here, perfectly level, horizontal, and then we're just going to get a level and make a mark. And you can make the mark, you can just measure from here out five feet. You can measure from here 10 feet out and then get the level, come down, uh, make a couple marks and then measure the distance from the bottom of this board to the top of this board. And in our case, if we came out 10 feet, we would have five inches. Remember, it was a half of an inch per foot. 
So let's go ahead and get the calculator out here. Okay, the first number we're going to enter in will be the vertical number here. So remember, we came out 10 feet from this point to this point, and we have 5 inches from the bottom of this to the top of this. 5 divided by 10 equals a half of an inch per foot. So there's our half of an inch per foot. Now, I just want to go ahead and enter in. Let's say that we have, let's say that this right here is 10 feet, but it's going to come down 7 inches. We're just simply going to take 7 divided by 10, and that gives us almost 3 quarters of an inch per foot. So if the number was less, let's just say that we had 10 feet, but we only had 3 inches. We would take 3 and divide it by 10, and that's going to give us about a third, 3 eighths of an inch per foot, um, a little less than 3 eighths of an inch per foot almost just a little over a quarter, in between a quarter and three-eighths of an inch per foot. And I could say five-sixteenths, that'd be close enough. So let's go ahead and get rid of the calculator. That gives you a pretty good idea how to calculate the slope. Now, when uh, I went through all of this with an existing structure, but what if we don't have anything to follow? We just want this thing to slope a quarter of an inch per foot. There's no... Um, sidewalk. There is nothing down here, no street. We're just going to pour a driveway here. And of course we can use the same method. Come off the top with a straight edge and then bring our string all the way out to a stake that we've driven into the ground. All the way across. This is going to be vertically, I mean horizontally level. Level across here and then you're going to use the level here to level up this uh, the stake because we need to have a horizontally I mean a vertical up and down measurement so the horizontal measurement is going to come in this way and then this needs to be straight if this is leaning over just a little bit our measurement could be off I'm not saying it's going to be off that much if this was leaning an inch and you measured it you might be off an eighth or a quarter of an inch not going to be that big of a deal most of the time and of course, you're going to run into a situation like this every once in a while. And I can't cover all the situations you're going to run into. The, my main point was to give you an idea on how to calculate the slope of a driveway for a few, um, in a few scenarios, but uh, not going to cover all of them. But this one here, you can see where we got a big pile of dirt here. And we need to raise the, the, the horizontal line. If we just left it where it was, we wouldn't be able to figure anything out. We need a horizontal line, and it's going to have to be a little taller than the highest point that we're going to be working with. So we will simply drive some stakes into the ground, set our board here, or you can simply use a string if you want. If you're good enough, you can just put a stake in the ground here and a stake in the ground here and then run a um, horizontal level line all the way across. You don't need this form board. This form board does help um, beginners, definitely. I would definitely uh, use something like this if you're looking for an accurate measurement. And then you just simply remove the soil and you are done with your project for the concrete. Uh, okay, maybe, maybe it's not that easy. But at least by now, I hope you got a pretty good understanding on how you can calculate the um, slope if you need to for um, a driveway that's already, that's going to be poured. You just want to check it and make sure that's got enough slope. Remember, a quarter of an inch per foot is going to be the minimum most of the time for a driveway, but you would need to check with your local building department to verify that. So if you're going to form form from one point to another point, you um, set the, you know, run the string across there, get the horizontal point, and then calculate the difference. If it's going to be less than a quarter of an inch per foot, then, um, and you don't have, there's nothing you can do about it, um, you might want to put some drains in or something or contact your local um, building authorities, building department to see if they have any suggestions or if they have similar problems in their area that they have already solved.